Go. Hello, welcome back to the Lab Bolt training videos. Today we are going to use our 6090 equipment. Today we are going to learn how to calibrate our pH transmitter proof with a pH transmitter. To do so, we need the transmitter, a multimeter, and the proof. Actually, right now we are not going to use the proof, but we are going to be able to calibrate our transmitter to know exactly what our proof is measuring. What we are going to do? We know that the pH, the neutral pH, is 7. So, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to choose for my process, let's say this is my more acid condition and this is my more alkaline condition. Why, what I want is I want a range from 0 to 5 volts that can represent that. So in theory, if I have 1, 2, three numbers to the left, one, two, three numbers to the right. In the middle, I should have something like 2.5 volts that should represent pH 7. If I make a little graph about this, and I say here is my pH, and here is the volts, what I have is these two pairs of numbers. So what I'm going to have is a line like this, in which one I am going to have 0, 4, that goes up to 5 and 10. We can do all the math, but we're going to do all the math directly with a multimeter. The first thing we have to do is connect my pH transmitter to a 24 volt source. So let's test if I do have 24 volts here. Yeah, I have 24 volts. The parts that I have in my transmitter are three output jacks from 0 to 5 volts or from 4 to 20 milliamperes. These two jacks are going to be used as a, the signal that comes out from my process, the controlled variable. This is the calibration jack that we are going to use now. We have the zero and spam levers. We have a selector that we are going to choose a variable pH measurement, that's the one that we are going to use now, or a fix it. It is going to measure directly from 0 to 5 volts as a uh, range from 0 to 12 pH. We have here the calibration source and the pH proof. With this switch we can tell our transmitter the signal they are going to read comes from my proof or comes from a fake proof. My fake proof is this calibration source that is going to reproduce a voltage from 0 to 12 representing the voltage that my proof should have. So to make our exercise we are going to calibrate to a span from 0 to 10 pH. We plug our multimeter here and we are going to turn this lever. This lever produces a voltage from 0, pH 0, up to 12, pH 12. Let's go to a pH 4, that's my first point. Ok, 4 volts will be a pH equal 4. I'm going to change my lead 
to the zero to five volts. My span has to be in the minimum and my zero in the maximum. Now I'm going to turn my zero to get zero in my multimeter. Zero. I go, now my zero is set. I go back to my calibration proof and go up to pH 10. I go back to my jack from 0 to 5 volts and now I have to correct my span. This should be 5 volts. And now we have calibrated. Let's make a little test. If we have a pH of 7 here, the voltage expected should be 2.5 volts, as we saw in the blackboard. Okay, around 7. Let's see if my calibrations are okay. And yes, there are. Thanks for watching.